to everyone. Welcome to Everyday Wisdom from the Gospels. This is your pastor, Yati. Welcome to a new week, new experiences, new answers to our journey with Christ our Lord. Now it came to pass when the time had come for him to be received up that he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. Luke 9, 51. Before I go on with the wisdom, again I encourage you that you are chosen. You are blessed. You are loved with an everlasting love. Many people wander their way through life when they should be marching on God's path and moving toward the goal He has chosen for them. These wanderers lack both powerful goals and godly determination. They need steadfastness, a quality of character possessed by the early church. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Act 4, I mean Act 2, 42. That's better. Their hope in Jesus was a steadfast and secure as an anchor, Hebrews 6, 19. And they stood fast in the gospel and in the faith, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 5, and 16, verse 13. When it comes to dedication and determination, Jesus is our example. Jesus walked on an appointed path this was prophesied in Isaiah 50, verse 7. For the Lord God will help me, and therefore I will not be disgraced. And therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I will not be ashamed. Everything about our Lord's earthly ministry was planted from the time of his birth, Galatians 4, 4 to 5, to the day of his death, 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7. In the Gospel of John, you often meet the phrases, is hour, or the hour, referring to the hour of Jesus' death. John 2, verse 4, chapter 7, verses 6, 8, 30, chapter 8, verse 20, chapter 12, 23, chapter 13, verse 1, chapter 16, 32, chapter 17, verse 1. The place of his death will be the holy city of Jerusalem. For it cannot be that a prophet should perish outside of Jerusalem. Luke 13, 33. How he would die is revealed in Psalm 22. Please read this psalm. And why he would die is explained in Isaiah 53. During the years of my life and ministry, I have learned heavily on my life verse, Psalm 1611, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Each of us has an appointed path 
and each of us has a Jerusalem. Jesus walked on a difficult path. No sooner had he launched his ministry by being baptized by John, and then he was driven into the wilderness to comfort, to confront Satan. Mark 1 verse 12. Satan's finally temptation was to offer him all the kingdoms of the world if he would have bowed down and worship him. Matthew 4, 8, 11. This was an attempt to detour Jesus from the cross, but our Lord said, No. The devil even used Peter to tempt him away from the cross. 16, 21 to 23. After he had fed the 5,000, the crowd wanted to make him king. John 6, 14 to 15. It was another detour, but Jesus steadfastly held to the Father's will and, knowing what lay before him, kept journeying toward Jerusalem. Jesus walked on a triumphant way before going to Gethsemane. He said to his father, I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. 17 verse 4, and this is all related to John. I hope I can honestly say that we can that when I come to the end of my assigned path, the cross looked like defeat, but it was actually victory. His nation rejected him. The religious leaders hated him. His treasurers betrayed him. His disciples abandoned him and fled. And even the Father forsook him at that crucial moment and our sins were laid on him. Yet Jesus was faithful to the end and could cry out, It is finished. He anticipated the joy that was set before him in glorifying the Father and sharing that glory with his church. John 17, 24, Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. Jude 24 Who can mind the journey when the road leads home? However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Acts 20 Verse 24. Everyone who came to Christ has a path of journey to walk. It is you, it is me, who are willing or not willing to walk with Him. We know also very well that people who don't follow Jesus, they see that their life unfold also certain ways that they are enjoying, or there is grief, or there is loss, and so on. Humanity has a journey to walk. You do it with Jesus, you do it alone, you do it in whatever you way you think it is best for you. The outcome, you will know your answer. I encourage all Christians, whoever choose to follow Christ and listen to this podcast, check again the scriptures. 
find the encouragement, find the path that Jesus walked for you and for me. And find your journey. And walk steadfastly. May the peace of God be with you and stays with you. And may his light shine upon you and keep you safe. God's blessings on this day. Have a good day. Bye-bye.